Got my heartbroken check. I get heartbroken too easily. Oh shit. It's already recording. Hi. Hi. How's it going, everyone? Bad? Me too. <laughs> it's going so bad. That's why I haven't posted a video in fucking four months, five months now, almost. But you know what? I just thought we should sit down and have a little girl to girl talk. Cause I've been doing real bad recently, ladies. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I've been doing real, I've been, I've been down bad. That's why I haven't made a YouTube video because I didn't want to, I didn't want to. Like, it was just like one bad thing after the other in my life that just kept happening. It was just like this and then this and then this and then this. Like, I think I'm pretty much chilling now. Um, there's no wood around me. Um, I don't want to jinx it. So let's talk about that. Let's do some life updates. That's all this video is going to be. It's going to be chill. We're just going to talk. It's, we'll call this, um, we can call this sleepover talk. Is that sexual? I just feel like I want to talk to somebody like I'm having a sleepover. You know what I mean? That's just, that's what this is going to be. So we're going to call this slumber party talk. Slumber party talk with Lara. This is the name of the video. Welcome. Should I put the cowboy hat back on? Let's get festive in here. I'm extremely depressed. The last time I posted a video was a few, you know, four or five months ago, and it was a few days before I broke up with my ex. Um, I was the one that broke up with her because I don't want to be a military wife. Like, that's just the matter of the fact. Um, you know, obviously our relationship was pretty public, so I've been getting a lot of, like, questions about it. Anytime I see somebody that's, like, even slightly attractive, I'm like, hello, I'm single. And then I always get like one person that's like, what happened to her girlfriend? So here's what happened. I don't want to be a mil I don't want to be a military wife. Do I look like, do I look like? No, I don't look like, cause I don't want to do that. You know, there really wasn't anything else besides that. Like, obviously we were long distance. We broke up over FaceTime. It was really weird. It was pretty sad. I was down bad for a while. Um, after we broke up, I actually worked for 17 days straight because I couldn't stand being by myself with my thoughts. Yeah, that was in May. It's August now. That was right at the end of May. Um, and so, yeah, that happened. Um, and then after that, things just kept going bad. Like, things just kept going downhill. So a couple weeks after we broke up, I was still, like, healing from all the, like, breakup stuff. I was still kind of in the beginning stages of it. Um, I found out that I was hacked on all of my social media accounts. Um, I wasn't like presently hacked, like I didn't get hacked. I found out that somebody had hacked me at some point in time and had access to my accounts for months, literally everything, my Facebook, my TikTok, my Twitter, my Instagram. And it sent me into an anxious episode. I didn't eat, I didn't sleep. I didn't post on any social media because people had access to my address, they had access to my bank information, they had access to my personal information, my work, everything like that. And it sent me into a horrible spiral that basically immobilized me. And I was also dealing with a breakup, so that was like really fucking hard. Um, but I obviously... I didn't have all the like necessary precautions that I needed for somebody with my type of following because um, I just didn't know that that was like a thing like I knew it was a thing but I like I didn't think that it was gonna be something that I had to deal with um, but it scared me a lot so also in the end of May all of the Black Lives Matter uh, protests everything started popping up everywhere and I didn't feel that it was like appropriate for white creators to be like putting out content normally making jokes stuff like that and like i had to unfollow a lot of people that were just like pretending like everything was normal because obviously nothing's fucking normal anymore and it never was normal everything has been bad for a long time and now people are just trying to change it i actually posted two tiktoks about the black lives matter protests uh trying to like push petitions and um 
you know, GoFundMe, stuff like that. And both of them got taken down for violating community guidelines. Uh, one of them I appealed and it got left up, but it's shadow banned, so nobody has seen it unless you go to my profile. Yeah, that kind of made me hate TikTok because of the way that they handled that. I already hated TikTok. We know I don't like the platform. I get a lot of hate. Um, I was shadow banned for a long time, but after I made those two posts, um, you know, they took them down obviously, and then they started removing my followers. It was to a point where I was losing thousands of followers a day. And I started getting messages from people like, hey, like, I'm not following you anymore, but I never unfollowed. I think I went down from 360,000 followers to 340,000 in the span of like a few days. And I'm not the only creator that this happened to. This also happened to Alluring Skull. It made me very upset and it made me hate the app even more. So I just kind of stopped posting on there how I was posting. And also I was shadow banned for several months. And so none of my videos were doing well. Regardless of how proud I was of them, they would not do well. I think that my shadow ban was just recently lifted because a couple weeks ago I had five videos go viral and that hasn't happened to me since last year. I'm ready to leave the app though. I'm ready whatever. And if TikTok gets banned, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be upset. Enough about TikTok. Let's talk about boy. Let's, let's TikTok about boys. <laughs> It's about to be a ride, partner. No, I'm not gonna go into detail, but I have been a little boy crazy lately, I'm not gonna lie. I was in a serious relationship at such a young age and I didn't get it out of my system. So a few weeks after uh, we broke up, I downloaded Tinder, cause you know, we're in a pandemic. Where am I gonna go to meet a boy? I can't go to like a party or a lounge and like hang out and like be mysterious. No, everything's, yeah, that's your fault. You knocked it off, you dumb bitch. Um, yeah, like, I, we're in a pandemic, you know? There's only so much you can do to meet new people. And I have spent the last year of my life extremely lonely. I don't have friends. I don't hang out with anyone. I don't do anything. I wasn't putting myself out there because I was just comfortable where I was. Like, I would come home from work every day and make TikToks and talk to my ex and, you know, FaceTime, whatever. And I was just like comfortable, but I was also felt like I was just kind of floating and I was bored and I was lonely and I was sad. Like I lacked human connection. <laughs> and so I downloaded Tinder, but honestly, I've had some pretty good luck. I've had some pretty good luck. I've met some really cool people. I've gone on dates, um, definitely got my heart broken. I'm better now. I deserved it. I think it was karma, probably. Probably karma, probably. I, I definitely deserved it. I was a big dumb bitch. I get way too attached to people way too fast, but it's okay. I forgot that men suck. Like, <laughs> I was in a relationship with a girl for two years. Like, I, I forgot. So I'm being careful now. You're not gonna catch me simping again. Never again. Cause I'm too hot. The thing is, is I'm too hot. A guy should be simping for me. I cannot be simping for a guy. Who do you think I am? Who do I look like? But I'm back now, I'm back, I'm better than ever. Tinder and Twitter have been really cool for me recently because I've made a lot of like new relationships and new friends um, that I didn't have before. And I, I don't know, I feel like I have like people to talk to and hang out with now. And I've been like putting myself out there and like forcing myself to be more social, which everybody should do. Obviously we're in a pandemic, so you shouldn't like do it too much i don't know like it's like a weird time right now because like we just have to live with this you know corona's not going anywhere so we just have to live with it and be smart about it from now on um you know i was gonna go to school like i did the orientation and i started registering for classes and everything was online and honestly i just feel like school isn't for me you know and that's okay i don't need it i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do i want to do youtube I really want to have a lucrative YouTube career, but in order to do that, I have to post. And that's the that's the part that that's the part that gets me. But Enya does it, Drew does it. They post like once a month. And every time they post, I'm like I like I eat it up, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I have a mystery illness right now. It's not the corona. I got tested again. I do have like it's like tonsillitis probably, and I need to get my tonsils out, but 
I have a metaphobia, which is the fear of vomit. And so when I get tested for strep, um, I like, it, it sends me into a panic. I don't feel sick, I just feel angry and annoyed. I think that's about it for this video. Um, this was just a long video of me just talking and like blurting my life out to you. I just feel like it's been a while since we've just like talked and I just wanted to catch you guys up on everything going on. Um, I am also selling my clothes on Depop now. If you guys want to go follow my Depop and buy some of my clothes, I'm going to be reselling stuff because um, Depop is featuring me as a uh, featured seller. So I'm going to be on like the Explorer page. So thank you Depop for featuring me. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hopefully I'll be making more videos soon. I don't know. You might get one in a couple weeks. You might get one in a couple months. It might be a year and it might be never again. We don't really know, but that's the mystery. That's the fun of it all. You want to subscribe because you don't know what it's going to be. Anyways, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I hope that you guys are doing well mentally and taking care of yourselves. Um, I love you all. I will see you at the next slumber party talk with Lara. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Um, and that's all we have to say. Say goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.